So if you're like me and you've got tons of labels in your Gmail because we're super organized, then like me, you'll also find it frustrating when you have to keep scrolling further down and down and down to try and find the label that you want. Even the ones that you use on a regular basis could be right down the bottom of the list because they're listed in alphabetical order. Well, be frustrated no more. I show you a real handy Chrome extension that integrates with your Gmail called Gmail Tabs. So this lets you add any label as a tab, meaning it stays visible at the top of your inbox. This is brilliant if you need to keep flitting into emails within a particular label. Want to know more? Then let's get started. So firstly, go into the Chrome browser and log into your Gmail account. Then go to gmailtabs.com. So there's two options for pricing. If I just click into pricing here. If there's only you who accesses your Gmail account, then you'll be fine with the free version. But if you have more than one user, then you will need to go into the premium version, which also includes email and phone support. So I'm just going to click on get started for the free version and then just click on add to Chrome, this blue button here in the top right corner. And I'm just going to click add extension. And once it's all reloaded and everything, it's telling you that the Gmail tab has been added to the Chrome extension. Um, let me just get rid of that and it's telling me that I'm logged out for some reason. So I'm just going to log back in. This might be because I already created an account earlier, but if you haven't ever created an account with them, then it will ask you to agree to their terms and create an account. And then you just choose which Gmail account you want it to be used with. So when your Gmail reloads, you'll notice that there is a cloud HQ icon here in the top right corner. So if we click on there, it gives you the option to go to the dashboard by clicking on home and go to dashboard just to show, show you what the dashboard looks like. So basically the dashboard will list all the other apps available in Cloud HQ as well as ones that you've got already got installed. So you can look through these yourself because it's probably going to look different to what I've got here. If you click on the name in the top right corner here, and this will open up your account where you can upgrade the account and you can sign out and everything. So I'm just going to come out of the dashboard and go back into my Gmail. So you'll see that because I've got the default um, tabs already included, like the promotions, the social and the updates, the inbox now has a tab here above all of those. So again, yours might look slightly different if you don't have the default um, layout, inbox layout set up. So to add a label as a tab, if you find the label that you want to add and simply hover over it, click on the three dots that appear on the right hand side and you'll see a section now called Cloud HQ. Simply choose whether you want to add just the label to the tab or the label and sub labels. So I'm just going to click on add to tabs and you can see that that label is now here next to the inbox tab at the top of the page. So if you want to color your tabs to help them stand out a bit more, then there is an edit icon over on the right hand side that appears when you hover over the tabs here. There's the edit button. So you just click on there and you've got the option now to edit or remove each tab. So if I click on the pen icon next to the tab that I want to edit, and you've got the option to rename the tab, you can show emails from the sub labels within that tab as well. And here's where you change your color. So I'm just going to change the background color um, to an orange. Uh, we'll go with that one. And this is where you change your text color as well, but I'm just going to leave that as black. And then when you're happy with everything, just click on save. And you can see now that that tab has now changed and then just click done. And that's what your tab now looks like. So just to point out here that the color of the tab does not affect the label color. So you can have a completely different color for both if you want to. Now, if you want to add a search query as a tab, then add your query into the search bar like you would do normally. So I'm just going to quickly do one label is um, expenses and has attachment and press return. And you can see there is now a blue button underneath that says add to tabs. So we just click on there and that search term query has now been added as a tab here. So we'll just go back to my inbox. And you can see there's the tab for that particular search term. If you want to remove a tab at any time, then again, you just click on the edit button here over on the right and then click on the cross next to the tab that you want to remove. Again, this does not affect the label itself. So your label will stay wherever it is in, in your list. Another way of removing a tab is to hover over the label on the left hand side, click on the three dots and under the cloud HQ section, you can now remove from tabs. So I would just click there. And you can see that's now gone and job done. 
So whilst this is a great tool for giving you easy access into any labels that you view on a regular basis, the downside for me is that it doesn't behave the same way as a label does. So you can't quickly drag an email up into the tab to add it to the label. If you want to add an email to the label, then you've got to drag it into the actual label itself over on the left hand side as you would do normally. So will this extension be useful to you? Let me know in the comments what you think. And before you go, if you want to start using labels but aren't really sure what to do with them, then I've got a free 15 minute class where I show you all about them. I even throw in an editable PDF organization worksheet to help you along. The link to this mini class is in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.